Hi, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So for today's video I would like to do a demo video and comparison of the new Electro Harmonics Deep Freeze from this uh, NYC DSP new mini se series of new mini pedals and compare this one to what to me on the paper was is this Deep Freeze when read the manual and comparing the feature its counterpart, the older pedal of this kind of freeze pedal in, uh, in, uh, in the Electro Harmonics family, the Super Ego Synth Engine. Also, not to the setup, I have my baritone guitar, my new guitars, then I go into the Super Ego, the Deep Freeze, then I go through some pedals which I don't use, but uh, we have an AMT SS20 preamp to have a clean sound, then uh, in the beginning of the video it was the timeline delay, Combine it with Strymon, combine it with some short basic reverb by the Zoom MS70 CDR multistep. Let's go first with uh, with the similar similarity. We have the same. Actually, we have kind of like the same uh, the same feature. The deep freeze as like the Super Ego. We have three modes being latch, momentary. Uh, excuse me, auto auto momentary and latch same for uh, for the deep freeze here we see that from the color of the LED here the, the order would be auto latch and momentary and then we are back to auto okay control are the same so we have the two volume maps for the effect and the dry sound same here and then we have the glisse or glide portamento control and the speed layer control and here as well glisse and speed and layer the only difference or the additional feature which you have on uh, on the deep freeze is that when in auto mode you can hold the mod switch for more than two seconds the LED will start blinking going through all the colors of the LED and that means that at that point you change the feed, um, the control which is related to the speed layer knob being normally standard a uh, decay control like it is on the super ego but when you switch you can change that to control the attack of the effect and later on in the video i will show you a bit how this works and compares also to the super ego okay other big difference the the, the format of course uh, this is a very very small box i got it also in case i need something smaller and compact so this fits very well, very compact and small uh, setups. This is kind of like the standard big box format from the Electro Harmonics. Um, so what else to say? Uh, the foot switch is also totally different. I mean here you have more space. If you open the pedal, the switch underneath the deep the box is kind of like big like this, which you don't have all this place in the deep freeze. It's also soft touch so it's quite okay. This is I use that a lot, so it's a bit clicky, but actually this you can have very this foot switch is as very move and normally clickless, while the the switch on the deep freeze is very clicky. But for me I don't mind and actually found it a solid foot switch, so perfect like that. And also due to the size on the deep freeze you don't have the send return. Uh, whereas to be honest myself I never use the, the send return on the Super Eco so for me it's not a problem not having the send and return also what I noticed that on the deep freeze I was experimenting a bit very often I would like on my pedal board also to make a bit more simpler the, the powering I would use daisy chains and for example with the Super Eco I was never able to use a daisy chain because I would always come up with uh, with ground noises and so for the Super Ego I always use its own dedicated power supply while with the deep freeze I, I noticed that it accepts very well uh, daisy chaining and so it doesn't have a problem with ground noises when powered together with, uh, with other units which for me is also a plus you know. also on the deep freeze you have three type of bypass being digital bypass analog bypass and hybrid bypass uh, the modes are described in the manual go and read the manual but I just show you how you can switch the bypass mode and this is also a set and forget feature that 
will be remembered by the pedal. So you want to unplug the power, then you, you hold the foot switch, I give power to the pedal, and now the LED will start to blink. Now at this point I can release the foot switch, and now every time each press of the mode foot switch will change the color. So being green, the digital bypass, which is set by default, Orange is the analog, analog bypass, and then you have the red, which is the hybrid mode. Uh, for myself, I decided to stick with the hybrid mode. So, as soon as I have my selection, I just can press and release the foot switch, and that's done. Okay, so let's go with the comparison. We start with the auto mode. Throughout the, the, the demo, I will always keep the dry level on zero, just to focus on the sound of the of the of the effect itself mm, and that's also the way I mostly use the pedal to generate all these pads and so let's start these are more or less the same settings so let's start first by even the freeze And now the super ego. Of course, like in the Super Ego, when you are in the auto mode, if I press and hold the foot switch, this will hold the note indefinitely, independent from, from the speed layer control. Okay. So, up to now, same functionality. Uh, I noticed that, first of all, uh, the ranges of the knob, it's not one-to-one. -one. I mean, if I have speed knob at 3 o'clock and the same here for the deep freeze, there's a bit difference in the range, but they work the same. And now listen to still the auto with speed and layer and glisse on, on full on both pedals. Not to cut the sound like that because if you have speed layer on maximum, it'll, uh, the the sustain it's into it's infinite. I always kind of like do some some ghost note and that will uh, kind of like threat as silence from by the pedal, so that can kill it. Okay, and now the super ego. Okay, so far, I mean, the general kind of effect is the same, that's also my point getting the deep freeze, because for me it's kind of like a micro super ego, <laughs> but you can notice there are some differences in, uh, in the sound texture, the, to me the super ego, the original super ego, it's more organic, that's kind of like more morphine artifacts, it's a bit more refined, while the deep freeze is more kind of like more in your face, how it deals with the sound, and uh, for me it's also because 
this is done all on a digital DSP. Here also, you have, of course, it's a digital effort, but here having more space, you have also bigger processor, you have more space to to have better hardware. So I understand this being the reason of the difference in sound between the both of two of both of them. But I mean, for what it does, the deep freeze is perfect. If you need something compact and smaller than the Super Ego, go for it. Let's check the sound in both pedal with both speed layer and glitch on, on minimum. We start with the Super Ego. And this is the freeze. As you notice, the deep freeze a very shorter decay. The super ego it's more, it's more kind of like a reverb character. Okay, and now we want to change the, uh, the the speed layer to control attack instead of decay. First of all, I push up again the, the speed layer knob. Uh, let me remind you that uh, the cool feature about now this this thing is that when I change the the, uh, the function of this of this knob the less value set for the decay or for the attack, depending how from what to what you switch, stays in memory. So if I set the decay like this, it means that I can change the attack, but the decay stays at this point. So to do now to do change the function, I hold, I press and hold the mode switch for at least two seconds. Now the LED is coloring blinking and now I control the attack. So first of all, I go to zero. That's that being kind of like the standard setting, which is akin to the super ego. And then, as I turn up, let's go at noon. The only thing that I noticed that with uh, with the attack function is that to me it's kind of like this attack decay is happening after the effect and I was expecting it to be more like uh, on the Super Ego Plus, I used it to have a Super Ego Plus as well once and there to me the attack was controlling or uh, taking place before uh, the freeze uh, glitch effect and I mean could be useful to some people At the end, it's kind of like an effect like uh, the attack decay, or always by electronics. But uh, I think for my needs, I will keep it just standard. So attack to zero, and then use the knob for the decay. <laughs> Okay, and this for the auto mode, then we can go to, to the latching mode. Also here, let's put the speed layer uh, at zero and then we put the glitch in the middle. So here we have the, the deep freeze.
pretty like same functionality so nothing special to comment and then we go to the last mode which would be the the momentary also here here speed uh, layer uh, in both pedals control how quick or uh, slowly the effect is fading out <laughs> And voilà, so this said, mm, I like both of them. I think for me, if I have the space, I will still use the Super Ego, also in a light situation, um, because, but, yeah, or in studio, any other Super Ego, because I found it more organic the way it works and reacts to the sound, and now it morphs the sounds with the Gliss option. Uh, well, the deep freeze is totally super cool for, for live setups for me because uh, it's compact, I can dizzy chain it with other pedals, it doesn't take so much space, as said, and um, actually it's the same, it's working the same, it's totally what I was expecting it to be, so uh, a smaller, a mini miniaturized super ego. And as I said, let's finish this video with the same idea that on, on the beginning the way I like to use these pedals it's with very long delays and uh, very huge reverb, uh, reverbs so enjoy and uh, see you soon